The European Union and Mexico have reached an agreement in principle on the main trade parts of a new EU-Mexico association agreement. The new agreement replaces a deal between the EU and Mexico from the year 2000. The original association agreement brought a lot of benefits either for the EU and for Mexico, but some trade barriers still remain. But the new deal will scrap high Mexican tariffs on European food and drinks, allow EU companies to sell more services in Mexico, pledge to protect workers' rights and the environment, and that goes further than the last agreement. Negotiations with Mexico started in May 2016, and both sides reached an agreement in principle on the trade part in April 2018. And you see, even if you just want to agree on an agreement in principle on one part, and that's trade, it already once again took two years. And that has nothing to do with incompetence on either side. That is how trade negotiations work, how agreement negotiations work. Both sides have their demands. There has to be time to find a compromise both sides can live with. If they don't, there's no deal. But if they do, it takes time. And this new deal, once ratified, will replace the old agreement from the year 2000. The EU and Mexico already have a close trade and investment relationship. Already in 1997, the EU and Mexico signed an economic partnership and a political coordination and cooperation agreement. Known as a global agreement, it also included a part on trade, which mostly opened up trade in goods already. And this trade agreement came into force in the year 2000. And the part of this agreement that covered trade and services came into force in the year 2001. And now the EU is replacing the existing global agreement with a new one. Its trade part will open the Mexican market even more for the EU exporters and of course the investors and covers new areas like some services that haven't been mentioned before and food and drinks. This new global agreement will be the basis for the future relationship between the EU and Mexico. And in this agreement, the two sides also agree to cooperate on issues like human rights and climate change and to work together on issues like combating poverty or researching new medicines. And if you now want to know more about European politics from a German point of view, I put my next video right here in the end screen. Right next to it, there's the button where you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. I'm, by the way, right on the path to the first thousand subscribers and I would be happy if you would be one of them. But first, I hope to see you in my next video. Click and enjoy. I'll see you there. Viel Spaß!